Hello guys and gals and today my Siemens Bosch dishwasher has decided to break with error code E23 and just to show you exactly what happens I'm going to switch it on and press the start button and this is what happens code E23 so what I'm going to take you through is cleaning the propellers cleaning the filter, check and clean the fan impeller on the wastewater pump and check the drainage U-bend for blockage. Right, so let's get started. So let's pull the trays out first. And on my dishwasher, there are two propellers. You've got one underneath the top basket and one underneath which sprays up. So let's pull the top tray out a little bit further and just anti-clockwise and it just pulls out then just run it under the tap and just check those holes are running freely which this one is so that is okay so let's get that back on that's one thing eliminated I mean I didn't think it would be that and push it up and just clockwise just clips in Make sure that's spinning freely. All right, now we need to remove the top tray. So what you do is you squeeze that handle inwards and this handle inwards with both hands. Obviously I can't do that because I'm filming and then just pull it out. And the bottom one obviously just rolls out and you lift it up. So this is inside my dishwasher. So what we're gonna do now is clean the filter. Now this just, again, turns anti-clockwise and just lifts out. So what we're doing is just checking for any gunk in there, any bits of food, all sorts. So again, just put it in the sink and run it under the tap. But already this is looking good. There's not much in here. I mean, we're pretty careful with the dishwasher. But just give it a quick clean under the tap. And this all looks good, no blockages. Right, so let's remove the other propeller. This literally just lifts up. Again, we're just going to run this under the tap and make sure that the water comes out of those holes on each propeller. So again, that is looking pretty good. No blockages in there. So it's not that. Now we're going to please clean the waste water pump. Excuse me. Right, now, first of all, we just need to get rid of the excess water. So just get an old sponge and just push it down in there and then squeeze that out into the sink or a bucket. Do this probably two or three times. Just make sure that it's completely dry or as dry as you can get it. Let's just speed this up. So I dipped and dabbed about three times and now we're going to check and clean the fan impeller on the waste water pump so this white little clip just need to push it inwards until it clicks out once it clicks out it should just lift up there we go just check on this for any debris yeah just a tiny bit of something on there so just give that a wash chuck that in the bin now this is interesting because it looks like there's like a bundle of hair there and a old raisin or something or something blocking the the waterway there so what i found was a pair of tweezers and don't tell my missus because i got these out of her makeup bag <laughs> if she watches this i'm in big trouble okay so just pull out the first anything you can see really so i've got a bundle of hair there and this looks like an old raisin or something I'm sure these are the eyelash remover things. So, yeah. Please, I hope she doesn't watch this. Right, so just basically get as much gunk and goo out of there as you can. And then just get an old toothbrush. This is an old toothbrush, by the way. This is not anybody's toothbrush. So what you want to do here is make sure that those that blade actually rotates nice and freely, which it does. And you can use your finger on this and this is actually rotating nicely so it's not blocked so I don't think there's a problem with the motor either and what you need to do now is carefully put, 
put back the eyelash removers into the makeup bag and hope nobody notices. Shh. Oh, please, I hope she doesn't watch this. Right, now put the, um, the protective cover back in. And what you do is you just push this down and there's a little tiny groove on the back. So you just have to push it down quite hard. So I've just got the end of a spoon here. Just keep pushing. Ah, there you go. There we go. And that's clicked into place. Now put the uh, clean propeller back on. And then we'll put the clean filter back in. Just turn it clockwise. It just clicks. And now what we're going to do is just pull the dishwasher out and check the drainage U-bend for a blockage. Might as well while we've got it all out. So you're just looking for any gunk and build up in the drainage system. So this is the drainage pipe out of the back of the dishwasher. Excuse the state of the kitchen there underneath the dishwasher. Make sure you've got an old bucket and a sponge because there will be water. So this is the drainage. So empty any bits of it into there. And again, this is looking pretty good. Have a quick look down the end. No obvious blockages in there. Make sure you leave that resting in the bucket. And now we're just going to check the U-bend because this is the prime target for any blockages. Any gunk is just going to sit in there and that's why it's designed so that anything sits in there doesn't block up the drain elsewhere and actually looking down there looks pretty good just put a little plastic tray underneath i just got this from the chinese takeaway obviously after i'd eaten my chinese now just undo these they're just hand tight so they should be fairly easy to undo and in fact i only needed to do this one here on the right hand side because i'm just going to take the whole pipe off of the wall because there's just a couple of screws at the top so there we go and again the water's looking pretty good so i unscrewed the um the clip at the top so the whole pipe's going to come out now so let's just pull that away and then we're just going to pour this excess water into the sink again it doesn't look like there's a blockage in there it's all looking pretty good pretty good to me it's not blocked up so this can go back on right let's get this pipe back on okay so just offer it up and then gently hand tighten it don't use pliers or anything just use your hand just hand tighten it don't over tighten it because they're only plastic threads make sure the waste pump hoses back in don't forget to do that obviously otherwise you'll have a lot of water all over your floor and that's where the cold water comes in i think there's a little sensor in there for the pressure but while you've got the dishwasher out just give it a whack sideways up and down because apparently there's some kind of level sensor in these and if it thinks it's not level it will shut off so it's just worth Give me a bit of a bash. Right, let's get the top tray please back work. on. Please, I do not want to wash up. That's just me praying that I hope it works. <laughs> so let's press that start button. Come on, come on. Ah! Oh, time to call a dishwasher engineer, I'm afraid. Did all that I could. And now it's also time to wash up. Anyway, that's the end. Hope that helped somebody out there. Cheers, guys and girls.